finally got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're about to get into this, but before we get into it, guys, I just want to say we are doing that giveaway for that Google Pixel 6a. Yes, we finally did it. We hit that 500 YouTube subscriber mark, and like I said, I'm a man of my word. We're giving this away, guys. Just go ahead, make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave a comment down below to enter you have to leave that comment and you have to be subscribed but without further ado let's get this google out of here and let's get into this iphone 15 pro max let's do it so i bought this iphone 15 pro max off google it took about a month and a half to get it shipped to me it took a long time now i know you guys probably seen that blemish on the top of the box but that was just the shipping label that i ripped off and let's just dive straight into it i like how apple has this little tab on the side you don't have to get any special equipment to cut it open but after you rip that tab off you got these two little things at the side where you pull it out and it just levitates the iphone a little bit higher so it's easier to pull it out and there it is the iphone 15 pro max guys you know what the box is pretty similar to the iphone 14 pro max the only thing i noticed that was different was that the iphone 15 pro max box is just ever so slightly uh wider but on the outside of the box you know you got your regular apple logo on the bottom iphone on this side iphone on the other side apple on the top you know the same old same old um, but if we get a little side by side comparison here, you know that the wallpaper obviously on the 15 looks a lot cooler, in my opinion, uh, with the little stardust sort of illusion that they have going on. And again, side by side, the iPhone 15 box is ever so slightly thicker than the box on the iPhone 14. Um, but other than that, they're super identical uh, apart from the wallpaper. The sizing is pretty much the same, but let's go ahead and rip these tabs off one at the top and then you have one at the bottom pretty standard on all apple products they have the two tab system um and then we go let's get that off and oh my goodness guys that is so beautiful that new colorway is so clean it kind of looks like the uh my table like it's very similar to the titanium on my table very very close color but wow I like that new color. I'm, I'm actually really feeling it, guys. I'm really feeling that new color. And one thing that I find as soon as I pick this phone up, it's super light. Like, it's way lighter than my 14. Um, and then there's that new addition to that button there. You have the action button. And the camera bump even looks slightly smaller. But let's put it off to the side for now. We do have the new USB-C. I even forgot that it, it comes with USB-C. Can you believe that, guys? Let's go ahead and put that USB-C into the iPhone for the first time here in 2023. Let's go ahead and boom, there it is. The USB-C finally getting that addition, the addition to the iPhone 15. Long overdue, but we finally got it. And one cool thing is they upgrade, like I think it's an upgrade. Let's see how long it lasts for, but they upgraded to a braided cable. And we have our standard sim card tray uh, ejector tool we are in canada so we do still have that sim card tray and then we just have our warning manuals our guides and all the other fancy stuff and yes we have the apple sticker that's still being shipped hopefully they continue that and they don't try to cut costs by taking that out i'm pretty sure they'll do it soon as everybody's getting pretty eco-friendly stingy <coughs> sorry um but anyways let's unveil this iphone 15 pro max and there it is for the first time let's go ahead and start this bad boy up and the apple logo one thing i found with the iphone 15 was it started really really fast i mean it was probably i did time lapse it but it was at least it started in like 10 seconds guys like i was shocked and oh yeah for that action button we do have to hold it down uh to initiate that i think I would prefer that to be an edit in the future where it's just a one click system um, instead of having to hold it. But again, this phone is super light. Like it still got me pretty tripped out here. But for the first time, iPhone 15 Pro Max. And that is the home screen, guys. 
that is the phone and honestly my first impressions for it i really like it it's smooth this is definitely an iphone for somebody who does not have the latest iphone and when i say latest i mean anything above uh anything below iphone 12 you know if you have an 11 if you have a xr you know obviously if you have an 8 you're gonna see a huge jump um from any of those series phones to this you're gonna see a huge jump it's really snappy it's really fast i do have an xr as well and this will blow it out the park for sure um, but yeah, the phone is super clean. I do like the new addition. It's really nice. Let's go in and actually check out that action button. So you have the silent mode, which it comes preset to, and then you have all your other settings, voice memo, magnifier, flashlight, camera. And as soon as you hover over it, it automatically selects that. It's not like you have to press something or anything like that. You just hover over it and it automatically selects it. And like I was saying before, you do have to hold it down to activate it, whether it be on or off. And one cool thing with the camera actually is that you can select selfie video portrait or portrait selfie. You kind of have some pre-recorded settings in there, uh, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of adjust it to personalize it. I wish they did that with the focus mode as well. You could, you know, select either sleep, uh, do not disturb or work. You know, that, that would be a cool addition. I'm sure they'll put that out in the future. But yeah, as soon as you do that, guys, you just hold it down and it will launch the app. And then if you actually press it again, uh, it will actually take a picture, which I find really cool as well. And as for applications, guys, it runs everything pretty smoothly, um, just as, you know, the iPhone 14 or 13 would. It's not much of a huge leap in performance. Now, I know that the battery life has been upgraded a little bit, but, you know, you don't really notice it too much. Um, but everything else is smooth. That 120 refresh rate uh, has everything running pretty clean. You know, scrolling, everything like that is really cool, uh, really good, guys. And let's go check out one of my videos, how it runs. Uh, some of the videos uh, and obviously if you're not subscribed guys I would really appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button it really helps support the channel but yeah guys at the end of the day it runs videos really clean you know you're, you're not really gonna notice any lag or anything like that apart from if you have a weaker connection uh, in the building um, and then you're gonna get that faster charge time because you do have that USB-C um, and then if you're running an application, as soon as you hold that button down, it automatically launches it. And one thing that I actually found was really cool is that if you hold it down, it starts to take a video. If you even have it selected to uh, picture, like if you have it, the action button selected to picture, it'll launch picture. But then if you hold it down, it will start a video, um, which I find really cool. And it does it pretty simultaneously as soon as you hold it down it will automatically switch out and go to that application um, but yeah I think uh, this is definitely a phone if you're looking to upgrade like I said you have the 11 or you have you know the 10 go ahead and pick this up guys always on display comes on uh, as soon as you get it out the box, it's already preset to have the always on enabled. But again, you can go into the settings and have that disabled if you do want. You know, you're not going to really notice too much of a difference in battery life. Uh, obviously, it is going to hinder it a little bit, but it's not a big difference. And one thing I really wanted to try was if my iPhone 14 case would fit on my iPhone 15. And guys, it actually does. You know what? It fits pretty well. Actually, the only issue is that action button. The cutout is not made for it. But if you're in a pickle, you can throw this one on, guys, and it will work until you get that iPhone 15 case. The cameras, all the buttons, it's snug inside and everything else lines up, lines up perfectly. You know, you still can charge the phone. You got all your speaker cutouts the exact same way and the power button still works. You know, everything works perfectly fine, guys. If you wanna throw this on, the cameras are good. Everything's gonna be protected. You can throw this on until you get that iPhone 15 case. But honestly, guys, pretty solid phone. I like the outer bezels. They went with a different material. It's not as fingerprinty as my 14. 
you know, that titanium and the material that they use doesn't uh, attract so many fingerprints like my 14 does. And again, it's a lighter material and it honestly, it, it's really light. It feels nice. The only thing that's going to get that fingerprint is that Apple logo. But other than that, you know, the camera, the camera bump is slightly uh, shorter or thinner. It's not as bulky as the 14. Um, but yeah, I really like the, I really like the finish on this phone. It's nice. It's a nice colorway and it's sleek guys. I really like it. It's nice. Another thing too, guys, is that if the phone is locked and you automatically just hold down that picture button or the action button, it'll automatically launch the application, which I find really cool as it gives you that one extra second for you to capture that moment super fast. I like it guys. It's kind of cool. I downloaded Asphalt 9. I'll let you guys go ahead and enjoy that gameplay and I'll see you guys in a second. Hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. Ashfall 9 is always one of those cool games I like to play every once in a while. But anyways, guys, that is the iPhone 15 Pro Max first look and unboxing. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be announcing the giveaway winner December 25th. That's Christmas Day. But anyways, be safe, take care, and I love you guys as always. Peace out.